Yo! Scratch that. Fuck this shit, man. You know what? Fuck everybody, man. I'm so tired of the DBZ community, man. Like, on the real. I really am, yeah, man. But you know what? But before before I dive in and and just ran on y'all niggas, man, I, I'm 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 gonna let Doctor Love and Platinum go ahead and introduce yourself, man. I got I got to do something quick. What's going on, guys? This is Doctor Love three hundred seven, and I'm I'm pretty fed up. I I am, and I'm I'm gonna let Platinum go and say his words real quick. You know. Yeah, so what's up, nabs? It's Platinum TDX the Dragon Extreme, and welcome to another Dragon Ball Universe video. And today, Black Super Saiyan is getting the spotlight. All right, <laughs> go ahead, dude. Pre all right, man. All take right, take my spot. Take my spot, bruh. I, I I just got something to say, man. It's like the DBZ community, man. I said it the other day. They get stupider and stupider. And stupider every day, man. But the stuff that I've seen from you people today really disappoints me. Like, it makes me angry, but it disappoints me more than anything. Because it's like, you are the same people that a week ago was telling me, we don't need a sequel to Xenoverse. Because we can get the characters, the story, the parallel quest, the moves, the clothing, all this other stuff that we are getting. You were the same people telling me just last week that we didn't need a sequel because we could get all this stuff through DLC. I come on here today, everyone's all like, well, gee. And the thing about it is, the thing about it is, especially with, this is with everyone on YouTube, man. Once one person says something, everyone tries to follow and just make it a trend or something. I don't know who started this whole, well, GT should have been in the game anyways. They shouldn't be lazy. They should stop, you know, they should stop trying to rush out these games. Did you guys forget something? Alright. Did you guys forget that Dragon Ball Xenoverse has been a thing? For three years. After Ultimate Tenkaichi came out. Like a year afterwards man. Maybe not even that. Bandai Namco came to Dimps. And was like. We need you to make us something. We, we, we need you to get this done for us. So the concept. You know. The, 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 the balancing. The, the whole getting characters. To work differently. The art style, all this stuff has been in development for three years. But you guys complain about DLC. Now, I can understand if this was just these, like, just GT characters DLC. I can understand that. There's no excuse these characters shouldn't be in the game. But it's like, we're getting a GT arc, basically. Yeah, it's only four missions. But those four missions are probably going to last you an hour to an hour on a, and a half. How long is the Sand Saga going to last you? Probably going to last you like an hour, an hour and a half, right? The only major fights are the Goku versus Goku, the Raditz fight, the Nappa fight, and the Vegeta fight. But it's going to be changed up a little bit. So is the GT arc. It's not going to be the exact same thing, man. Like, it's going to be different. Yet, you people are complaining. Like, you're complaining about this shit. Like, okay, here's the bug already that I found, right? Trunks, in one of the screenshots that we've seen today, has a sword. And as you guys know, GT Trunks doesn't have a sword. Maybe it was a In another screenshot where we see him... That, that's also what I was thinking, though. Maybe that was a bug, but maybe they did that on purpose. Like, maybe there's a reason why in one point he does have it, in one point he doesn't. Maybe he but wants to but like, Maybe. Yeah, I get that. Maybe. Like, maybe it is that. Maybe it is that. But at the same time, I, I mean, I, I'm, I'm kind of thinking it's a bug. I mean, it could be something else. It could be something else. But do you guys not know how much time, effort, and money it takes to make one cutscene. Not even that, right? Not even just that. This is still the Xenoverse story. It's just added on to the Xenoverse story. 
they have to come up with the concept and ideas of how this GT story is going to function the same way as the regular Dragon Ball Xenoverse story. That actually takes more planning than you would think. They have to kind of rework the entire story after it's already done to make this GT story make sense. That takes time, man. And people want to say, well, I mean, they should have released the game later. They shouldn't be rushing it out. Who said they're rushing it out? They're not rushing it out, man. They took all the time they needed. They took three years on this shit. They're not rushing anything. They're just getting it out. I mean, like, they're just doing it, man. <laughs> like, for real. Like, you guys need to chill and actually evaluate what they're doing. And then it's like, there's so much content in one DLC pack for 10 bucks. You guys will sit up here on your Call of Duties and buy your, all your map packs and not say a word. You'll let Storm 3 release a DLC with one character and one extra mission and not say a word. But as soon as Dragon Ball Z releases a DLC with so much content in it, everyone wants to complain. I don't understand you people. I really don't. I'm done, man. I'm done. Go ahead. Take and, it away, man. And also, like, you even said it yourself, and Dimp said it themselves. They, their main focus was the Z story. That is done. They're working on DLC now because their game is done. They are improving on what the fans want. What you guys asked. What you guys wanted, and now you're like, oh, well, the herp derp derp. We wanted it to be in the game, herp derp. But why do we got to pay ten dollars derp derp? No, fucking shut up. <laughs> Take a seat. Pay the ten dollars if you want the GC character uh, story thing, and if you don't, then just don't buy it. Like, why are you complaining for better content? Like, we are getting. This is the first time, and I want to say seven years that we've gotten to play as. GT characters fully, not watch them do a move on a TV like Ultimate Tenkaichi. I'm talking about fully. And not um, Infinite World, because to me that didn't really count because that was like Budokai 3.5. But it's this is like the first time we've actually been able to 3D move our characters and fight with friends as GT characters like you guys are complaining and it's not like they're implementing the same plot hole story they are rewriting this story for Xenoverse Th like we are they are making GT canon to their story like you don't if you don't alright so GT is not canon to Z in any way it's not canon to the manga it's canon into the m anime but it's still not even canon to that really but they're making their own GT. They're making it Z Xenoverse T, like Xenoverse GT. <laughs> they're making it better, like pumping it up. Like they're literally putting lingerie on this shit. <laughs> and it's gonna be spectacular. Like if you guys, if you guys haven't seen the baby screenshots, it, oh my god, baby and Tenkaichi three. If you thought that was a boss battle, you were fucking stupid. And if you thought it yeah. was a boss battle in Ultimate Tenkaichi, you might be right. But this is a real boss battle now. And this is possibly one of the best Xenoverse... Um, not best Xenoverse. Best Dragon Ball Z games we're going to get for the next, I want to say, two years. Because this game is... Oh my god. And if you haven't played it, shut the fuck up. I made the same mistake <laughs> yeah. as you. Shut the fuck up. Yeah. When I played this game, I was like, what? Oh my I don't thought it was Battle of Z, like a literal just Battle of Z again. Like no no improvements, no nothing, just Battle of Z. And as a Spike fan, coming coming from one Spike fan to all of you dumbasses out there, this <laughs> game is on another level. Like even if my minor gripes with this game, it, they can't be overlooked for me, but I can improvise. I can sacrifice. And that is what comes with maturity. 
you have to learn what to sacrifice what you want for better things and Xenoverse is that better thing we have the combat system we want simple but in depth we have the character roster we have the dedicated support you guys should not be complaining in any way you guys should just you guys should be paying double for what they're doing for this game this game has exactly. been in development for three years you guys are lucky you're not paying eighty dollars True. I'm done. Ig exactly. Like, it's just, it really just, the the main thing that really got me to it, if anything, all I thought I was going to see was hype. Because you guys even saw it. Everyone's been asking in comment sections for months. Where's GT? Where's GT? I don't see my GT. They say, we're not planning to have any story for it in the, in the thing or anything. We're not really planning to have GT. It's mainly a Z game. People are disappointed. Like, sometime later, surprise, Super Saiyan 4 Goku, GT confirmed. Everyone's getting hyped. The thing with Super Saiyan 4 Vegeta, yeah, I'm pretty sure that was Bandai Namco's part, not Dimps. Also, maybe with this part as well, but who really knows? I don't really care anymore, because I'm just full of hype. But anyway, they do that. They release us more GT. People are like, oh... Well, I didn't think you guys were actually going to put GT in this game. I mean, that's not even canon. I'm not buying this game. So then they go like, you know, well, we know we weren't supposed to put this in the game in the first place. And we know that not everyone wants it. And we know there's people that do want it. And the gaming age has something known as the not so popular DLC. We could do that. People in the comment sections, why don't they just put it in DLC? I'd be perfectly fine with that. Wouldn't you? Oh, I know you would because DLC is something we all want for GT. Guys, don't don't say you didn't because you said that. You guys literally said that. I said so that then they shit. do it. Exactly. I, I even said it. I was like, put it I as DLC. Do. I'd be perfectly fine. So then they do it. They announce it today. I see a few people getting all hype. Overall, I see people like, um... GT is like not canon, and there's already <laughs> GT characters in the game, and we didn't ask you guys for DLC, we were just joking, and that you guys actually did it and are listening to us, we're gonna show how much we care, they've been working on this game for three and a half years, and we're just not gonna support this whole DLC decision. Well, I mean, you guys were the ones who kind of begged them to do it, so the fact that you're contradicting yourself Literally within the hour they announce it, that is sad. Like, that Real. is literally, like, that's literally like me going like, Mom, let, let's go to the store. I want to get some cookies. Okay, we go to the store. What are you doing? I don't want your money. I don't need these cookies. This is a stupid decision. Take me back home. Like, what are you guys doing? You ask for something and then you don't want it when it's announced. And also for the people that don't like GT, um... You don't have to play as the characters. You don't have to unlock them if you don't want to. You don't have to buy the DLC. It's DLC for a reason. Downloadable content. You don't want it? Don't download it. It's not going to hurt you. It's not going to hurt anyone. People that want it can get it. People that don't, just don't. It's as simple as that. Save your 10 bucks on something. People that really do want it, get it. And like what Black Super Saiyan Platinum said, all this content for 10 bucks for the people that are complaining that's 10 bucks have you seen some dlc they will give you like legit like two things for like 20 something like that bucks we're giving <laughs> we're getting all this content exactly we're getting all this content for what 10 yeah i all of it together is like what 24 25 something like that but even still like you guys really don't want to pay that much for all that stuff that you want like, legit, and it, it's just crazy, because I even said this earlier, people will whine and whine if GT isn't in a game, but once someone mentions it having to do with the show, it's a huge problem. Like, okay, yeah, Dragon Ball and Dragon Ball Z are, are canon. Uh, Battle of Gods and Forgot Snow Ever Totally Canon. I hate GT. I love how they're contradicting everything in GT because GT sucks. GT's horrible this. GT's horrible that. I only like it for the character models in Super Saiyan 4. Yada, yada, yada. GT is boo-boo. So then they're not going to put it in a game so that because you guys keep saying you don't like it and you keep bashing on it. 
and then they announced the game with strictly Dragon Ball Z. Um, were you guys not listening to what I just said? I was just saying that I cannot live a day without GT in a video game. So unless you guys put it in this game, I'm not going to buy anything. And because there's those people that don't want it in it, you better put it in DLC so I can just buy it afterwards and get my content. And then they do it and you want to complain even more than you just were. Like, are you guys for real? You don't know how to make up your minds, and whatever you apparently do, the moment that they give you what you want, it's the end of the world? I don't understand that. I'll never understand you guys. It just boggles my mind to no end how... I, 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 I'm just... I'm done for now. I basically think I got my point across. It's just... The stupidity level is over 9,000 for sure. What makes Ever? this even worse is that... It's not even the same GT story, so they can't even bash it. It's not even the same exactly. GT story. This is Xeno versus GT story. Like, it's not even GT at this point. It's just Xeno versus Super Saiyan 4. That's what it is. It's X exactly. Super Saiyan 4. XSSJ4. That's what it is. Put it, copyright, don't, nope, nope, steal it. <laughs> <laughs> See, the thing about it is people keep bringing up the, uh, the, the network test files and shit, right? The network test was released in, like, September, October? End of September, beginning of October? When was Super Saiyan 4 Goku announced? Beginning of October. So it's like, yeah, it's like the, the scan for Super Saiyan 4... Goku came out about a week after the, uh, what's it called, the, uh, English network test. So it's like, it's, it's not like they wanted this out, right? But they seen a lot of people, they got a lot of questions, like, months before this. Like, is GT gonna be in the game? Everyone's wondering. No plans for GT. Announced Super Saiyan 4 Goku. Everyone gets hyped, right? They're announcing character, and has anyone ever noticed... I understand you could say, well, you know, we get more hype for GT this way. But has anyone ever noticed they haven't announced GT characters until the very end? Like, don't you think that's kind exactly. of kind of a little, you know, like, done? Like, on purpose? It's like, like, um, it's like Super 17, right? A month ago or about two months ago. Super 17 probably wasn't built out, right? I can understand he was in the beta files. They gave him a placeholder. They're like, you know, we're thinking about putting this guy in the game. And then they're like, okay, you know what? Since we have extra time, go ahead. You guys make him, right? And then they get some more time, right, after making Super 17. And they're like, okay, we got a little more time. So you know what? You guys over here, go ahead and make Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta and Omega Shinron. They get announced. We're finally at the end of the development cycle. The game is pretty much done. They're like, okay, we got some time. But if we're going to do everything we want to do with this, it's probably not going to be out by the time the game releases. So you know what? You guys go ahead, make all this content, and we'll put it at a reasonable price, at a fan-freaking-tastic price, actually, for DLC, and you know people buy it because they understand that, you know, we took the time to go ahead and make a whole arc for these characters and just put them in, you know, go ahead, put them in, they've been asking for it, they said they accept DLC, so you know what, since we don't have time, unless we delay the game again, we won't have time to put the characters in there. So, you know, go ahead and make it at a reasonable price for DLC. Put a lot of content in there. People will buy it. People will be happy. No! You dumbass DBZ fans want to be like, Oh my god, I don't want GT to be DLC. Even though a week ago, you were telling Bandai Namco, Oh my god, take my money now. Even if you put GT as DLC, I'll still buy it. Oh my god. So why are you going back on your word now? Why? Why? And it's like, Watch them still buy it, too. They are going to still buy it. That's the thing. They keep saying they wish GT, like, it's so stupid. And then people want to talk about, okay, I've seen someone tell me, right, 
and you know who exactly who you are. You're going. This is going on my channel. So if you want to bash me in the comment section, I don't care. I really don't care. This guy wants to say, well, a few years down the line, you know, you know, when the services are turned off. Number one, let me stop you right there. Who's still going to be playing their PS4 when the services are turned off? Who? And if you are, if you are, why would you play Dragon Ball Xenoverse? Not only are we going to have many more games after this, most likely, but it's like, why not? Why would you get Dragon Ball Xenoverse after the services are off? It's basically an MMO. It has MMO aspects, dude. The main focus of the game is the created character and the MMO aspects and the story. Why would you get this game later on down the road when the services are turned off and you can't have the full experience of the game anyways? That's retarded. Stop looking at it like that because no one's looking at it like that. Not Dimps, not Bandai Namco. Yeah, they're looking at it down in the future, but it's like DLC was going to be in this game anyways, and you had no problem with it. But as soon as it's three GT characters, you get all upset. You get all upset. And it's not like it's not like all the DLC they released is only going to be GT characters. They're going to have other shit. They're probably going to have movie characters. They're, gonna, they're probably going to add movie arcs and shit. I wouldn't be surprised because they actually added Broly. They weren't planning to add Broly. They had a little extra time. So uh, they're like, okay, we got a little extra time. We got a little extra money. You know what? This team right here, go ahead. Make a little extra kind of side story, you know, that we can do for like a movie character or something. You know, who's the best character to do this as? The Japanese market and the American market love Broly. Okay, let's put Broly in there. The fans will be happy about that. Like, stop fucking complaining about this shit, man. Like, you have really no reason to complain. Like, seriously, you really don't. Because if another game did the same shit, you'd be perfectly fine. Exactly. And to be honest, we all see the only problem with Xenoverse so far. You guys know what it is? No, I don't. The, the sparks when you hit someone. That's the biggest problem with the game. Because <laughs> everyone else, everything else about this game is almost perfect. The only gripe that is worth complaining over is those damn sparks. Oh my god, they gotta go. But anyways, guys, <laughs> that is our three cents because it's three people. Get it? <laughs> Bad joke? All right, whatever. But, yeah. um, <laughs> that was our three cents on this. Let us know what you guys think in the comments section down below. And if you even think about I know you're going to be a troll. I know you're going to troll. So get it all out of your system because when this game drops and I'm using my damn final shine attack on your bitch ass, don't complain. <laughs> Watch that move be OP. Oh my Dude, god. Final Shine is finally green in a video game, except Infinite World, because Infinite World was green too. But uh, Wait, no, it was, it was green in Budokai 3, wasn't oh, it? Oh, yeah, well, well, Infinite World, Budokai 3, blah, blah, blah. but um, <laughs> yeah, let us know what you guys think in the comment section down below. Also, be sure to subscribe to Black Super Saiyan, Dr. Love and I. Um, those two are awesome YouTubers. Um, Don't subscribe to me, I'll cuss you out. I Just like how I'm pointing two fingers across the room. <laughs> But, um, yeah, subscribe to those guys. Those guys are awesome. And also, uh, check out my last video. It'll be in the description. And, uh, yeah. So, what do you guys think about this? See you guys later. My name is Platinum CDX. Bye! Bye! Yeah.